mesh, you can store your little wrapper right inside the tube and you'll have it next time you need it. All right. Y'all, I'm just gonna toss this on the floor. This, we're gonna take it, fold it over, crunch in our ends, and we're gonna do our 10 inch poofs around the top and the bottom. Maybe just around the top, we'll decide. Uh, maybe both. Who knows, we'll see, we'll see. Uh-oh, y'all, I just broke it. So look, this was loose, so this fell off. Y'all, all we have to do is wrap it on there and twist it back on. Did I unpack? No. All right, so 10 inch poofs. Hello, Sierra in Knoxville. Welcome back. I'm glad to be back. I'll be here until Monday. Then we fly out to Dallas. Y'all, I wanted to go live while at Crafters Convention, but everywhere I went, there was music playing, and that music would get me in trouble on Facebook. So I couldn't do it. No, Deborah, I had to leave uh, this morning because we leave out to Dallas. So I missed all of today at Craft Convention. Y'all, I missed that little sloth that Derricka made. So sad. All right, 10 inch poofs. Jeannie made seven reese snare fingers are killing her. Awesome. Hey, Robin. How's uh, the Robin's nest? Megan, I think I can still hear your voice from there. can do music on YouTube lives. So if you don't own the licensing agreement to play that music, you are stealing from that artist and its brand. So it's going to be a no for me, even if YouTube says it's okay. You love the black and white? I do too. All right. Y'all, we got our little 10 inch poofs all the way around. Now, trying to decide if I want to do poofs on the bottom or if I just want to do ruffles. Awesome, Chris. Y'all, let's just do ruffles. And I'm saying that because this mesh is pretty expensive. So if we don't have to use the whole roll on this wreath, we shouldn't.
So to make up for not doing the 21 inch mesh around the bottom, um, where, so y'all, I'm gonna be completely honest. This roll is usually around 18 to $21. So if I can just use a third of it for the top and not use the whole $18, I can use a lot more of the 10 inch with multiple colors. You can't find wreath forms? That's because they're sold out a lot of places. We have close to 18,000 on the way. So I might still use $20 worth of mesh, potentially, but I'll be able to get several colors out of it and several wreaths out of each roll. Y'all once again, just stashing those little wrappers in there because I don't think I'm going to use the whole roll of either one. Kathy, do we have some wreath frames in stock? We might. Y'all, I haven't been in the warehouse in a while, so I don't really know what we got. Candy, I look tired, but you're the one who had to sleep the whole convention, girl. So what now, friend? Shots fired. <laughs> All right, so y'all, we're gonna start with something around 25 to 30 inches for the 10 around the bottom. Let's go ahead and block Nuka whoever. So there's two. Jordan, you can't get work workman's cop when you're self-employed now, so don't be burning yourself. All right, this will be our 10. All right, so we've got our, I think I cut most of these around 27. Melissa, I saw your paintings, they're super cute. All right, we're gonna take it, we're gonna curl each in just a little, and then we're just gonna scrunch it down the middle. Y'all, the ruffle doesn't have to be cute or perfect or anything else. Uh, Stacy, our business coaching group is usually always open. Y'all. We got the fun ones tonight. All right. We're just going to do one of those longer ruffles around the bottom of the frame. Are y'all behaving at uh, Crafters Convention? Those of you that are still there. Or all you just all sit in the lobby together watching me. Like, what's going on, friends? Oh, mom, are they talking about the potato salad? 
y'all. If anybody from the hotel is watching, listen, it was good, but we thought your potato salad was tuna fish because it just looked like it. Nancy, you like the Hurricane sign pack? I was gonna use one tonight and then I wanted to make Halloween instead. Also, if you're flying home, just be prepared. It was a bumpy ride. Almost the whole way was a little bumpy. What's the monthly kit? It is not, uh, a, it's not actually a kit. It's a wreath supply box. So we send them a box of wreath supplies every month. You can go to wreathsupplybox.com. Uh, Parker may have a few left. You still want to order a Hurricane Ida sign pack? You can still go to decoexchange.com, type in Ida in the search bar, and it'll show up. Y'all, another one fell off. They're getting sloppy. The crickets are super loud tonight. Evidently they missed y'all too. You guys enjoyed the presentation? Awesome. Hopefully somebody learned something from it. Like they used to, like like a week ago. I don't know. What's the noise in the background? It's a cricket. Or a locust. One of the two. It's a very happy something. Y'all look how full this is getting. And we're not close to being done yet. You've paid for two supply boxes, haven't gotten any yet. So you paid for one up front. It is on the way. And then you have to pay for next month's before we ship it. So if you paid in August, that's for the September box. And then usually around the 15th, the payments start renewing for the next month. So your September box is on the way. And your October box, the supplies are starting to get delivered so we can start packing them up. Charlene, still not drinking Coke. But I drank a few sweet teas this week. So, back on the diet, hopefully Monday.
What type of pipe cleaners do you use? I don't. These are called uh, tinsel ties and they're already on the wreath frame. All right. So now we're gonna add some color to the top. Well, not color, but the same black and white and orange. So we're gonna take it. Y'all, these are gonna be around 20 inches. Yeah, so if you haven't been following, uh, we were hit by a hurricane, and then we got all the stuff back up and running, got everything packed, and then the shipping companies weren't operating yet. So your boxes set in our warehouse for a little while. We have loaded some up and brought them to the, another city, and then uh, the company is starting to pick up. They're just not at full capacity yet. So, we're trying to get them out to you. Hey, Mavis. All right, so these are gonna be anywhere between 18 and 20. Y'all, we're gonna need eight total around the top of the frame. Man, these people are serious about wanting y'all to watch that video. And we're still gonna have mesh left over of both. That's why we tucked those tags into the roll. Y'all, the October box has something that uh, Coach Jordan picked out. And then I helped pick out the colors. So if, don't say what it is if you think you know, cause you're gonna make someone else mad. But if you really know Jordan and you really know me, you could probably guess what a big surprise is in the October box. But you can't be saying what it is. Because they're going to get mad, y'all. All right, so we're going to take our smaller one. We're going to just curl it up once on each end. Ruffle it down the middle. And put one all the way around. Yeah, Parker, y'all, Parker had to do the reveal because we have to sell the open boxes for October. We couldn't wait and then miss that opportunity, which I know some of you guys didn't want to see it. So hopefully you guys didn't watch it if you didn't want to see it. You tried four times to get the box and watch you in. Well, did you create an account? It's definitely not pink, that's for sure. Karen, it's probably what you think it is. You know Jordan well enough. It's a homecoming up? Yes, everyone's going to homecoming. All right, let's get these ruffles in here. Y'all, the smaller the ruffle, it's gonna look more like a little bow tie pasta, which is really good if you fry them and dip them in some spinach and artichoke dip. All right, we're almost around the top. What kind of mesh? These two are fabric. Actually, all of the ones that I used today were fabric. 
the 21 inch and both of the 10 inch. I am back home. Y'all, I left at around 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, Angie, deep fry bow tie pasta. Batter it, fry it. So good. All right, now our wreath is nice and full. We got a good base going on. Yo, I'm using uh, one of the We're just going to call it Spunkins. You'll see what I mean. So if I'm going to put something like that in it, I'm going to want it to be more of an oval. So all I'm going to do is take it and push those two sides in just a little bit. All right, so now it went from a 24-inch circle to a 26 by... 23. Look, see? Just a little less. How is shipping going? They're getting caught up. The problem is it's not going out as fast as they're packing it. You can use fabric, y'all. Okay, so fabric mesh is not really fabric. They just have string that goes through it. Hang on. See the little darker lines? Y'all, that's just a cotton thread. I say it's cotton, it might be something else, but it looks like just a thick band of cotton weaved throughout the plastic so that's fabric it's not like t-shirt fabric or anything like that all right y'all these little things are so cute i can't help but love them Y'all, there were some of these still in stock. This is 567410ORWT. What kind of diet? Just really no Cokes. I'm going to grab my pick machine for this one. So, smell my glue gun burning. There we go. Yo, I'm just going to take a 20 inch pipe cleaner, bend it in half, twist the end just a little bit. Uh, you search Resource and Rust, we couldn't find nothing. It's wreathsupplybox.com. Y'all, we're going to take our pick machine, push it forward to load a pick. Put our little pipe cleaner in there. Give it a good squeeze. And now we have this little dangerous weapon. That is a pipe cleaner with a spike on it. All right, look. Y'all, when we add our pumpkins... We don't want to just put that pumpkin in there so that it's little stems waving at your company. Let's give it a good angle so that people can tell what it actually is. Right? 
So now whenever you see it, it looks like it's just kind of sitting there hanging out. There's a tag on the back. Yeah, we leave the tag until we're done. It's the last step of the process to make sure that we flip it over and look at it so that nothing's messed up. All right, we're gonna take it, add some hot glue to that little spike. Put our spike in our pumpkin. Y'all, I'm gonna make two of those so that it doesn't flop around in the wind. Y'all, if you do this technique and you do it and you go to push it in, stop. As soon as you feel tension, stop. Grab your needle nose pliers and use your needle nose pliers to push it the rest of the way in. Y'all, what happens is eventually you get like this random little spot where it'll just go in really quick and then your finger goes right into that hot glue. It's not, it's not fun. So if you can, avoid it and use your pipe cleaners or your needle nose to push it in the rest of the way. Don't ask me how I know. All right, so now that our little pumpkin's tucked away in there, I'm gonna just grab those pipe cleaners from the back and wrap it around the frame. Do I like the smaller glue gun? Uh, I mean, I personally like the larger one. Uh, it puts out a lot more hot glue at once, but it's also like the little one's only like 25 bucks and the other one's like 125. So you can sew a pipe cleaner on the back you're gonna sew a pipe cleaner to styrofoam? I don't know if that's gonna work out, friend. But you're more than welcome to try and give us a report back on how it goes. Why did I switch? I was never really a glue pot person. If I'm doing a lot of grapevine work in one day, I may plug in the glue pot. But if I'm just making one wreath, I'm just gonna go for the glue gun because by the time the glue pot heats up and gets the right consistency, my project's over. What kind of glue do I use? I use the glue from decoexchange.com. All right, now, if your pumpkin is still a little wobbly, it's not gonna fall out. Your pipe cleaners have it secured. And if you wanna make sure it stays down, you can take your glue gun, put a little bit of glue across the bottom. Not really a little, y'all. You're gonna drown the bottom of it. Then you're just gonna push it down and hold it for a second. Paper mesh cannot be used in the weather if it gets wet from rain or just moisture in the air. It's going to start to sag. Not a good look. All right, y'all, let's make a bow. Y'all, there was some little uh, curly picks that I think I wanna try to use, but they don't match the pumpkin. 
So we have to pull in a little bit of that ribbon into the bow to see if it makes sense. But I thought since our little spunkin was kind of wild, we should put some leopard print with it. Because why not? So to tie that in, I'm going to use black, orange, white, and then I'm going to throw in a little bit of black leopard print in there. It may not work out. It may. We'll see how it goes. Jordan, what I was going to say is just because sweatpants season's coming, it doesn't mean your pumpkins need to sway. Secure them. All right, Charlie, I don't, it's not gonna really matter. Just make sure that the wood is good for outside. All right, so we're gonna start out with about a 12 inch tail on one side. Give it a good little pinch. Give it a twist. Give it a nice sized bow here. Y'all, I went out to about seven and a half. You just ordered the easy bow? Awesome. I've got like seven of them. I love that thing. All right. So we got our X going on. Hey Pam, it was nice meeting everyone at the convention too. All right, this time we're gonna go with our short side up to the top. Y'all, all of this ribbon should be in stock. This loop's gonna be just a little bit smaller. Buddy, you ready for Monday, friend? Y'all, this orange with black swirl has glitter on it and it's so pretty. Melody, uh, I understand that they are gonna have a limited number of suppliers for the new Easy Bow. And we have not uh, come to terms on selling it yet. So we're discussing it with the owner. We need to know, I need to know how much it's gonna cost me to get it, how much I have to charge you for it, what's the wait time, how many do I need to order. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes into the background of ordering wholesale that needs to be worked out before I can agree or disagree on what's happening with it. All right, a little bit of black and white. Y'all, I'm gonna add one more little loop right in the center. Why are you going to Texas? I have business to do in Texas. You've been watching me on YouTube all day. Y'all, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching in the How to Make Reese Facebook group and you're asking questions, I cannot see your comments. I can only monitor comments at one place. And right now, that place is on the Deco Exchange Facebook page. All right, we're going to take our 20-inch pipe cleaner. We're going to fold it in half.
You can't make a good bow? Well, speaking of that, y'all, if you're in the creative coaching group, you should go check out the post that I made a little while ago. You talked to Carrie. There's no one in my office named Carrie. All right, so we got our little bow made. What's the skew for the orange ribbon? It is 51101-40-21. A lot of people don't use, they shouldn't use fabric mesh outdoors. They can absolutely use fabric mesh outdoors. They shouldn't use paper mesh outdoors. All right, y'all, we're gonna use one bigger bow to tuck away under this pumpkin. Now, we don't wanna hide the whole pumpkin though, so we're gonna just move that out to make sure it looks good. There we go, just like that. You just joined the Creative Coaching, let you in. Uh, the team will be back in Monday. So if you joined over the weekend, they'll get you added in the coaching group. Jenny, you can use Fabric Outdoors. Sue's excited about it. Y'all, so me and the coaches want to host an event, but the event is going to have eight different classes, and there will only be 20 to 25 people in each class, and then over the days, you'll rotate through each class, and you would be one of 20 people, like, making a wreath with us or a garland, or whatever it's gonna be. But just a small group, each coach walking you through step-by-step step how to do all the things. I don't know. We're still trying to work out the details. But if you're in the creative coaching group, go in there, read the post, and then leave your thoughts about it. So every class would be a make and take. I don't know, sounds kind of fun to me. So that's, that's where we're at. Yeah, so the price would include everything, the lunch, breakfast, all the supplies, us shipping the completed projects back to you all the things.
All right, y'all. Now we just need to get some ribbon added ar around. No, you won't have to carry the product back with you. We'll ship it to you. Like we already included shipping the eight designs back home in the price that we started coming up with. All right. Let's get some tails added to this. Do you have to be a Creative Coaching member? We are gonna launch it in the Creative Coaching first because they've been asking for this for a long time. And then if it has open spaces after that, then we would go to the public. Hotel too? No, not the hotel. It's just super expensive to host those types of things because you got to have uh, the hotel charges you for AV equipment and then you have to pay hotels pricing for food. You, like, you can't bring outside food in. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes into it. And it's just going to be a lot of, uh, it's going to be a lot. All right, let's start with doing 10 of these. So one, two, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I have a hotel selected? Uh, I don't, but we're going to work with our friend who is an event planner to pick out some hotels. I did find one hotel that would work. They have enough small rooms and one big room. Will we show it live, girl? We don't even know if we're gonna have it. We gotta, we gotta figure it all out and see. Right now, we just wanna know if enough of the students are even interested for us to even plan it out. Uh, I cannot promise uh, shopping at the warehouse. Just because if the warehouse is slammed, I can't, I can't stop their production to bring people in here. But if it's possible, we would make it possible. But I can't promise that. All right, so we got 10 of those. Y'all, we're gonna use this one. Where would it be at? It would be around New Orleans because we have to be close to the warehouse to be able to get supplies delivered for it and brought to the event and all the things. Four, five, six, seven, Don't have a hotel, find a place to shuttle from area hotels. Valerie, I'm not going to be in charge of moving you to and from somewhere. That's out. That's a whole new liability and insurance concern. And then what happens if we leave you somewhere? Or if you don't make it on the bus? Nope. 
the event will be at the same place as wherever the meeting space is. Also, Parker doesn't know yet, so let's keep that between me and the 1,500 friends watching. Listen, I need to get y'all interested before I break the good news. I just think it would be fun to be able to have the small class environment but have enough people so that the price is spread out. Because the less amount of people that you have, the more expensive that it gets per person. So if we have eight different classrooms and we're rotating between all the different classrooms, we could have more people and still only have 20 to 25 people in the classroom getting that one-on-one -on -one instruction. Does that make sense? Right, so whoever your favorite coach is, if you love Jordan's bows, you'll be one of 20 or so people sitting around him, learning step-by-step step how to make his hand bow. And you'll be making it with him. Right, if you love, struggle with the easy bow maker, you'll be one of 20 people in a room with me learning exactly how to use it. I don't know. Sounds like fun. I'll get back to you though. The SKU on the orange ribbon, 51101-40-21. Sydney, we have all that information posted in the Creative Coaching Facebook group. So if you're in there, you can go check it out. Give us your feedback, your thoughts. All right, so y'all, we're gonna layer that four inch and our two and a half, and we're gonna put one in all the twist ties around the bottom. Uh, Teresa, this would only be creative coaching. It would not be the business coaching. At least, as of right now, we only have creative coaching in mind. All right. So look, we're just going to add that into the twist tie. Yeah, it would have to be somewhere around September, October next year. Y'all, there is like a ban on imports. So even if we wanted to host it in the spring, we would have a really hard time getting enough supplies for everyone. So we would have to plan it out way far out. Y'all, and guess what? If you want business added into that event, you need to go on that post and tell us. Because right now, we're thinking we just want to have fun, be creative, get to hang out with 20 of y'all, and get your designs up to par. But if you're like, uh, I can already make a bow, let's get some business done, y'all need to tell us that. Like, we're doing this because it's something that y'all have asked for. And we're trying to make it happen. But if that ain't what y'all want, 
You just gotta listen. Tell us. Go on that post and let us know. Why is there a ban on imports? Just because there's such a backlog of stuff coming in and it's so hard to get stuff shipped, you can't place any import orders right now. The companies just aren't really taking them. Damn, we could totally do a pre compensate for business. Y'all just gotta tell us what you want so that we can talk and see how we can make it happen. Y'all, look how cool that looks with that four inch and two and a half inch only as tails. I'm sure it's gonna be lifted soon, but it takes about six months to really get your product in from an import order. So until they lift it and then we can place the order, that's why we're thinking September, October would be a much safer bet for us. These are cut to 14 inches. Y'all, and here's the thing. If you're both in business and creative coaching, now you can start asking the coaches like, okay, I need a plan on how I can make the money to go to the event. How long would each class be? Uh, when I looked at it earlier, we would plan for probably two hours. Uh, just because we want to make sure that we can get through the design and still help everyone else get through the design as well. Y'all, my orange tails must be moving around with my wreath. Uh, Gail, I'm not getting stuck on a boat with people. I'm out. Are we not doing any more Rethinkers Live? So Rethinkers Live will be every other year. We want to do something with... Uh, all right. So. This is just me being transparent. Uh, whenever we first had our coaching group, and there was, you know, a couple hundred people, I knew everyone by name and their business and what they were doing and what they were making. And then one day, someone got really mad because I no longer knew that they made an orange wreath on Tuesday. At that point, y'all, there were about 2,000 people in the coaching group and I had to tell myself that if you can't show up for everyone, you can't have favorites because it hurts people's feelings. Right? So that's why on Tuesday nights when I'm live in the coaching group, I try to give you guys everything that I can on Tuesday night because I know that I can't do it like some of the other people do out there. 24-7, because there's just too many of y'all, and then someone's feelings get hurt, and that's not fun, then we feel like crap, right? And that's not the intent. So we're thinking, trying to host these little events to kind of get to know some of our members again. That's all.
That's just me being transparent. You know, I had to make a decision to try to treat everyone the same and give everyone the same opportunity so that no one could feel like they were left out. That's all. We were, listen, I'll be honest. If you guys were at Crafters Convention and you saw Katie's clubbies, I was a little bit jealous. Because they all knew each other, they were all friends, they were all, listen, I was jealous. Katie, you did a good job. Super proud of you. But it also made me say, we have to find a way to get that happy medium and bring that community back to our coaching group. Without, one, it killing us, because we can't do everything and still run our business, and without leaving people out. Right? Y'all, and maybe... I just lost a ribbon. What did I lose? I lost something. Maybe it's not eight make and takes. Maybe it's less. So that it's a lower price. We don't know. We have to work on all the details. You saw my photo with Connie. Oh, Christina, there was lots of people in the room. There was lots of... When I asked how many of y'all were in the coaching group, probably 70% of the hands were up in the air, right? But, And then some of y'all would be like, oh, I'm in your coaching group. And I'd be like, oh, what's your name? And I would recognize your name, but I had no idea what your face was. And I didn't like that. So we're going to make some changes. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Yeah, it's an orange ribbon. Y'all, and we'll probably cut another one. Yeah, Jeanette, the difference is absolutely in the size of the group, right? So we just have to figure out what makes us all happy. Kathy, even if I divided a coaching group, I can't divide myself. And I only have so much time in a day. How often do we do live sessions? In the coaching groups, we're live Monday through Friday. On here, just whenever I get a chance. Y'all, there's a, what is that? Some type of flying creature in my pipe cleaners.
Thanks, Dottie. Jeanette, we've been knowing it for a long time. Um, that's why I started adding other coaches to the group. So that they could also do some of that community management. Because I can't do it all, right? All right, y'all, we have to cut one more orange. Faye, this isn't about pleasing anyone else. This is about pleasing me. I saw a gap in my community, and I need it fixed. It's no one in our community ever says, oh, uh, you don't talk to me enough. Well, I mean, that one person did. But it's not like people are in there saying, right? We promised them education. We did not promise them friendship. And we're delivering on the promise, and no one says that we don't. But I want to give more value to that. That's it. Yeah, it fell on the floor, and it's just easier to cut another one than to walk all the way around and grab it. Becky, I'll see you there. Y'all, and listen. <laughs> there were some people who are in the coaching groups that are being so sneaky. So sneaky. You know what they're out there doing? They're out there making $75,000 a year in resales and not saying a word in there. They're not giving themselves pats on the back. They were like, hey, I just want you to know my Etsy store is rocking. I made $10,000 in resales last month. I was like, well, why aren't you in the group, like, celebrating? Like, I'm too busy working. I'm like, oh, I get that. <laughs> keep working, keep working. So, that made me happy to know that the training was working. Y'all, I'm just dovetailing some of these boards, or tails right here. All right, we got all our bow tails cut. Uh, you know why I recognize my limits? Because I don't want to settle. That sounds really... Here's 
All right, so here's the thing. My students cheer on my success. And if I do 100% all in on one thing, I can't continue to grow. And those students are my biggest cheerleader. They wanna see me win because they know that if I keep growing and I keep winning, I'm gonna make a bigger difference for our industry as a whole. So, you know, if I personally answered every single email from them, I wouldn't have time to do anything else. And they know that, right? So they don't get upset whenever I say, oh, just email Todd or, oh, email Sandy or, you know what, Rhonda can help you with that one. So I have to know what my limit of me is so that I can, one, continue my own education and my own growth and not burn my candle out. If you guys were there, you saw my presentation, you know what I'm talking about. Of doing 100% of one thing and not being able to grow. All right, y'all, we gotta get a little bit of those ribbon tails right in here. No, I'm not going to put ribbon in every one of these, I don't think. I'm going to try one, two, let's try three and see if you like it. Yeah, we're going to do wild picks. But I need to get a little bit more ribbon first. Yeah, that's why we also want to make sure wherever we go, we also have one big room so that we still do stuff together and not just in the little classes. Yeah, but we're going to add a little bit of greenery and we're going to add some other stuff to tone down the glitz to match the pumpkin because our pumpkin doesn't have anything glitzy on it. Mary Williams, I do know you though. Well, I know that you show up. I know that you comment. I recognize your little name and your face. I may not know a wreath that you made unless you posted it in the group. But I know that you show up And if you would have walked up to me in person and said, hey, I'm Mary Williams from the coaching group, I'd have been like, oh yeah, I, I see your name in there all the time. Jordan, I don't know you, but could you show up and do some work? Like, I should just be standing here looking cute and you should be making a wreath. Like, what's going on here? And it says, what's my favorite food? Probably crawfish with cute dangly earrings.
I actually had a pair of your earrings right here somewhere, I thought. Where did they go? They used to be on my top shelf right here. They were patriotic. They're hidden. I don't know where they went. The only difference between lives on our page and the coaching group is that they're a lot more detailed. You get the view from this camera looking down and you get hours every day, Monday through Friday from the coaches. Uh, we are gonna start up, y'all, now that Jordan's on the team full time, well, whenever he stops making gingerbreads and starts working uh we're gonna have a few more things going on in the creative coaching group like a chance to get wreath critiques and some q a stuff not just the lives and then after the live videos we also put the whole tutorial in the membership where you can watch it step by step with instructions and sometimes a supply list here it's more of I'm making a wreath I will tell you what I'm doing but it's not step by step tutorial type but I still come here and hang out with y'all it's okay Laura, I don't uh, host the Crafters Convention, but if you go to craftersconvention.com, you can check out all the information, I'm sure. All right, so y'all, on this row, we're just gonna do every other. Oh, you met me at Kali's event. Y'all, you know, Kali is one of my favorite humans ever. True story. How about I consider doing comments sold while creating? The problem is that comments sold doesn't connect to the Mevo. So I could do that, but then you would have a very crappy live of the trend, like the actual wreath making. Twist tie. There it is. The wreath looks fabulous. Yeah, but it's all glitzy. Is your... One of your friends is my what? Let me know. Now I'm curious. Robin, I'm sure if you go to the howtomakewreaths.com and you go to the blog section, I'm sure there's a blog that tells that story. Michelle, one day you're gonna come to one of our events. Uh, 
uh, Christina, you're going to hang out with me at Crafters Convention. Kathy, uh, I don't have any intention to not do these Facebook Lives, for sure. Every four to five minutes, it was advertisement. Debbie, listen. Whenever you watch those advertisements, we get paid. So just sh struggle bust through them. Klee is just... Klee is the same in person as she is on her live. She's crazy, y'all. All right. Y'all, it might, it might, it might bug me not to have ribbon in everyone. We'll see. Maybe I can put just a little bit of this black and white in there. So let's measure out about let's measure out about twenty eight inches. We'll cut three of those. We might need four, but we're going to start with three. We're going at 28 because we're going to fold it in half. She's my mom's mother's sister. Which one? I missed who she was to you. So I saw Small World Damon. I found out last night one of my friends. Oh, one of my friends is your mom's mother's sister. Which one? She might be here watching. You never know. All right. We're gonna take it, we're gonna fold it in half. Then we're gonna fold it in half again. idea what Maddie's talking about. Then we're going to pinch it in that fold. Hey, Charlene. All right, y'all, now we got this little awareness ribbon, and we're going to add that into those twist ties that we skipped. Y'all, just to give it a little bit of color in that one little missing section. Yeah, I, we don't own a flatbed for sure. Uh, you should be able to find this ribbon on Deco Instant. Arlene, yeah, we know Arlene. That's crazy, yeah. Cheryl, we're actually talking about not Crafters Convention. Someone just had a simple question about it. And I just said if she wants more information about Crafters Convention, she can go to their website. 
He already has information for next year. All right, I'm gonna get one more of those tails right in here. But y'all, there's nowhere to add it. There's nowhere to add it. So I'm gonna just put a pipe cleaner on it and tuck it in. Y'all, this black, we also have this one in two and a half inch. They're strong with these YouTube links today. You were with them last night and had a great time. So are you in sulfur as well? All right, on this one, I'm gonna just grab a pipe cleaner, throw it around there. Did I dovetail? I did not. We'll have to fix that. So I'm just gonna work that pipe cleaner through the mesh and around the frame. You were raised in Sulphur and live in Lake Charles now. I haven't been to Lake Charles in so long. Y'all, I got, I had glitter on my hand, then I wiped my face, and now I need to sneeze. I feel like I inhaled some glitter. Are snorted, not inhaled. All right, now let's get those curls. Y'all, and these, so you can see where we can easily cut that pick into two pieces. What's my favorite season? My favorite season is Halloween. And my favorite color is black. You swallowed glitter today. Well, at least you know in a couple days it'll be pretty. All right, so we're gonna take our little twist. Y'all, now I wanna add these because all the ribbon that I added was like nice and sparkly and our pumpkin was not. So I'm trying to tone it back down just a little bit. Right? So I'm mixing that glitter with the non-glittered pieces. You're about ready for bed? Me too. Did you not decorate your mom's Christmas tree? Uh, I usually decorate it. Can you have this when I'm finished? No, but I can list it in my Etsy shop and you can purchase it. It's true. Well, I mean, I like black and white mix. 
So a lot of my designs always have something black and white in them every holiday. There's never a bad reason, like, no reason not to include it. Mary, you should totally make a wreath. Oh, y'all. Y'all. Can y'all believe that I have another secret and I have to keep it? Until I don't have to keep it? And it's a big one. And I just thought about it because of Sandy. gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. What am I gluing it to? I'm gluing it to the little twist ties that are already there. Right? So these little orange, black, and white twist ties. Y'all know I don't do good with secrets. Sandy, it's something related to your past. You're the only person, you, Parker, Mel, and the other coaches are the only people who don't know. Shh, our little secret. You love secrets? Listen, I'm gonna share as soon as I can. Betty, I didn't see if you answered me or not. Are you ready for Monday? Are you good? We're all prepared. Hint, hint. Uh, it's not pumpkin related, but I mean, it Reese's eggs, that's the only hint you're getting. It's nice to tease. Well, listen, I don't get to talk to Sandy every day, and when I saw her, I wanted to share that with her. Uh, Tammy, the creative coaching is for anyone who just wants to learn how to make better product, and it is month to month. You can quit whenever you want. No, it doesn't have anything to do with weddings. No, I don't know if I can, like, legally tell y'all yet. So, once we get the approval on that, then I'll share. You're not good, huh? Don't be a mess, Betty. It's gonna be fun. Y'all, Betty is one of my really good friends, and she has to have surgery on Monday, and her husband can't go with her. Freaking COVID rules. Parker's pregnant. I want a refund. I mean, it would be in everyone's Okay, listen, little secret, a little secret. Whenever you cut a metal stem, whenever you cut a metal stem from the bottom, there's a little piece of metal that runs from the bottom to the top. Metal is a really good heat conductor. 
So whenever you put a lot of hot glue on this end, and then you're like, oh, I'm not going to touch the hot glue. I'm just going to touch this end. This end is now hot. So be careful. Don't do what I just did. Like a little branding iron on my thumb. No, it's not a new product. Y'all, this is turning out super cute. Look how fun. How do you sign up for creative coaching? Just go to learnfromdamon.com. And then from there, you'll see a couple links. One of them is Creative Coaching, and you can join us there. Cooking lessons, no, but everyone does want a cookbook, so I should do that. Debbie, I'm going to need you to pay attention because we've been having this glue gun for like two months now. Like, where you been, girl? Y'all, if you don't know, me and Debbie like to harass each other. All right, so we went all the way around the bottom. Don't talk about spunking like that. If you guys don't know what I just said, think about the two words that we put together and look at this little guy. Like, he's super cute, but we got to work on that fabric print. What's that, Nicole? Listen, Nicole, they still haven't posted that decorate the White House thing yet. I need to know if I got to spend Thanksgiving in D.C. or not. And they out here making me wait. How's shipping going? I think they have through the 6th shipped out. And they have orders after that waiting to be picked up. But they're getting it out as soon as we can. The skew for the black and white... Five five one zero eight. I think if you just search that, both the one and a half and two and a half will show up. What's a good rule of thumb for how long or short you should cut those things I'm cutting? Oh, so you just want to make sure you have enough stem. I wish I had an empty frame. I don't have an empty frame, but if you can't see what I'm doing here, so in, in here, it really is just like two twist ties that look like this. Okay? So you just wanna make sure that your stem is long enough that whenever you push it through and you glue it, that it sticks. No, it's not going to the White House yet because they haven't even posted the applications yet. Who empties my garbage can? Somebody on the team. They empty it quite often. I just put a lot of stuff in it.
All right. Y'all, I still don't think we're done yet. We did use all of our little cheetah prints, though. Um, where did it go? Okay. Now, if you have been around for a while, you know I love to snatch wreaths that are already completed from Walmart, Big Lots, Hobby Lobby, that you can tear them apart. So one that I found is this one. And it's got some really cute greenery on it. Y'all, and this greenery is really just little picks that I can easily pull out. So I'm gonna steal some. Y'all, sometimes if you find these on sale, it's a better deal than buying each individual pick. Am I gonna do another Etsy class anytime soon? No, but if you join the business coaching group, uh, we have lots of Etsy training in there. All right, so I snatched some greenery. Y'all, there's just a few places that just need a little bit uh, to be softened up. The White House is not decorated from last year. It's been removed. Where do you sign up for business classes? De uh, learnfromdamon.com and just click on business coaching. Right, so we still have a lot of that glitz and I just wanna tone it down a little bit. And I can do that. Adrian, you know that other platform that you sell on that not many of my students sell on? A lady that was there is doing like 75,000 a year on that platform. So keep working it, friend. All right. Y'all, sometimes I have to tell secrets without telling the whole story because it's, it's personal. So if you know, you know. If not, it's okay too. If you're in any of the Q&As, you know what I'm talking about with her. And she's also from Florida. does look like that. All right, y'all, look how just adding that little bit of greenery is starting to soften that up a little bit more and give it a little bit more texture. Y'all, and I'm just working these also in to those little orange twist ties. At Home does offer that. 
Y'all, I heard a rumor that the at-home store, though, is not going to carry uh, all of the same stuff that we know and love. When will I make Halloween? I probably won't. I'm going to skip. I have not sent out a box from the sash in a couple of weeks. Just haven't had time to do it. But I will. Connie, the only thing you're making is a headache, friend. Uh, Terry, I would do business coaching if you want to grow your business. Y'all, and I'm just randomly grabbing through this greenery and getting different textures and different pieces to put. No, I think I'm going to go straight into fall. I have two fall wreaths done. Just got to make a fall garland. Yeah, I never dovetailed this one. I never went back and did it. Like what stuff in the at-home store? Like greenery and flowers. Angela, if you join our creative coaching group, we've got a whole lot of classes on making bows. There's actually a whole section about bow making. Y'all need some more glue. Sounds like rain. Nope, not rain. Yo, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and block someone. Why? Okay, listen. If you're on someone's Facebook Live and someone asks them a question and you give them a solution, don't be that person that tries to give them a different answer to go somewhere else. Like, that's just rude. So, that person just got blocked. I can. So did Farron. I can. All right, y'all, we're going to keep adding some more little pieces until I'm happy. Jordan, I'll give you snacks. Uh, they'll probably have everything printed through Thursday. And when I got here, I just went straight live. If I would have done other stuff, um, I would not have been able to send you guys a message saying I was going live. Connie had, y'all, Connie had an Etsy sale at Crafters Convention, and it made her so nervous because she couldn't ship it out right away. Y'all, she has like a five-week shipping time on there. She had plenty of time. I don't know what's on this YouTube link, but y'all, please don't click it. Everyone keeps posting this random YouTube link. It's definitely someone trying to hack you, so don't click it. I keep deleting them so you guys may not even see them and I keep blocking the person from the page. 
but they just keep having a new account post it. So if you see it, make sure you don't click any links from random strangers. That's how you lose your Facebook page. Buddy, they dropping like flies around here, girl. What's up, Stacy? All right, let's look at it. Oh, I gotta zoom out. How fun. All right, I think we have enough added. Have you ever had a trouble with glue in the wreath and heat? I have not, no. And I mean, I hang my wreaths on a Louisiana front door for four or five months at a time with no issues. All right, y'all, I think that's it. Do I know what would be cute with this? If I would have used the sign that Mel made me make for her with this one, it would have been really cute. Look. Y'all, should we remove Spunkin and put this sign? Look how cute it is. I mean, I would hang it on my own door if I removed the pumpkin now. Y'all, this is uh, one of those things that we tell you guys to try in the business coaching group. Uh, if you hang something up and you show it to all your people and people look at it, they say it's cute, but no one buys it. Go take something out and change it up a little bit and see if it sells. If you've had something that's been hanging up for two years, it's time to take it down and rework it. Y'all, now I want to see this on there. So now I'm going to take off the pumpkin and put that and see if I like it. You love the pumpkin? I do too. But I think that Papa Till in there would be really... Maybe I can just hold it up. Okay. Y'all, we're just going to fake it. We're just going to fake it. We're not going to really add it. We're just going to temporarily add it so we can see how cute it would be. Yeah, I know. I thought about that too. Well, even though I super glued the pumpkin, I would cover all the damage with the uh, the sun. But I'm just gonna show y'all. If you don't have a spunkin, you can use this same technique with a sign instead of a pumpkin. How can you take it out? Yank it out. All right. Oh, there's a lot of glitter on my table. All right. So this, I'm just gonna, can you do both? No, you can't do both. This is way too big. So I'm just gonna temporarily put this on there so you guys can see that you can use this same formula with, if you don't have a pumpkin, do you have a fall sun?
Y'all, we're literally just putting the sign right over the pumpkin so we can see what it looks like. What's up, Lisa Kellum? Lisa, lots of people said they missed you this week. Y'all, I'm just giving y'all a little extra perk so you can see that you can make this work with what you have. Pay attention to the method and not always what's in it. So it's gonna, ha it's gonna sag a little bit because it's not very tight. But look how cute this would be with a sign in there versus a pumpkin. Elaine, the black and orange, they said it's already um, show from overhead. Uh, if you're in the creative coaching group, that's where you get that angle. Uh, you're not going to get that here. All right, let's take our temporary sign back off. You don't see the mesh colors? If you look, they're there. There we go. All right, y'all, now I'm really leaving this time. You guys have a good night. I may not see you tomorrow. I am going to be live in the creative coaching group tomorrow night because I won't be home on Tuesday. Uh, I'll send you guys a message about that if you're in the creative coaching group and you've signed up for alerts. All right.